Hey everyone, today we're talking about everyone's favourite seaman, sea, sea man, sea, man of the sea, Aquaman, as a kind of continuation to this kind of makeup series that I'm doing. Um, again, if makeup isn't your fit thing, feel free to skip this, you don't have to watch it, but there will be lots of like nerdy comic book talk in here as well, so it could be fun for that reason. But this is a little series of videos I'm doing where I do kind of wearable makeup looks inspired by some of my favourite DC characters. You might have seen my last video on Starfire, if not you can go check it out. I also recommend you watch that first because I have a few notes in there about the kinds of makeup I'm using, how I'm trying to use as much cruelty free and vegan makeup as possible, but how, you know, I can't afford to replace everything I own all at once, so I am using a few non-cruelty free products, which I don't recommend you go out and buy yourselves if that makes sense, but I'm just trying to use up what I have because sometimes it's the only option for me. Anyway, for a better explanation, go watch that other video first. Also, I'm gonna kind of skip over some of the basics of like doing my skin and eyebrows and stuff like that in this video because I'm doing it in the other video instead and I don't want to repeat myself too much and hopefully it'll shorten this video quite a lot for you and we can just get into the actual like aquaman -y goodness of this look. Am I making sense or rambling? I don't know. <laughs> so first thing I've got for this look, I know I'm all fresh faced and icky at the I'm just makeup free at the minute, um, but ignoring my face, the first thing I've done with this look are these little false nails. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I post about these on my story. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to wear, but I went for these in the end. These are so just Primark false nails applied with a little bit of nail glue, also Primark as well, because um, so much of their stuff is cruelty free at the minute, so I'm actually really into it and it's really cheap. The whole set of false nails is about two pound and these are in the shade Ice Queen. They're kind of like a white sort of pearlescent gradient kind of thing with like shades of blue and pink and green in there, like depending on where you turn them and I think they're really really pretty. They reminded me of kind of seashells and sort of pearls and things like that which is why I thought they'd be perfect for this Aquaman look. One thing I will say is that the nails themselves are actually really long and really sharp, they're pointed nails and they are just so impractical for me. So these I trimmed down and filed down into like a nice rounded tips and now they're a lot more usable. Anyway while I'm rambling I'm gonna prep my face a little bit for you guys. I've already talked over what I'm doing here in my last video so I'm not gonna be kind of going into too much detail with it here. I asked you guys in the last video to guess who you thought I was going to do the next few videos on and I think I only saw one or two people guess Aquaman. No one really got it, interestingly. I think that's because he's not exactly, you know, to say he's a member of the Justice League, he's not exactly a favourite of a lot of people. It was part of his charm for me because I didn't go into reading his comics expecting too much and so when I really really loved them it was a really nice surprise. I feel like Aquaman is a bit of a joke to a lot of people and I thought he was for a long time as well. I mean you only have to watch <laughs> like South Park for all the seaman jokes, you know? And the mighty seaman. It's not seaman, it's seaman. Um, and let's be honest, like in some of the old comics and stuff, he's a little bit wimpy. You know what I mean? He's not the best character in some issues. But one of the things I really loved was how in the uh, sort of New 52 reboot, so not not Rebirth, but New 52. And there's a really, really nice sort of self-aware bit in, I think it's like the first issue, where Aquaman's like all stressed and he's like being Aquaman and he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, and he goes to this diner and there's a bunch of journalists there and one of the journalists is like, go on Aquaman, please, please, give me an interview, give me an interview. Aquaman finally caves in and then one of the questions the interviewer comes out with is, so how does it feel to be everyone's least favourite member of the Justice League? And he's just like, and then he like whacks him with his trident and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love that. I do think he's incredibly underrated though and he's got so much cooler in the last few years. Like, oh, he's amazing now. And it really is a surprise to me how much I love Aquaman in the comics because um, I don't know how much you guys know this, but I hate water. I have a really, really bad fear of like deep water and swimming. I used to have swimming lessons as a kid and nearly drowned once. And I've been absolutely petrified to go near water ever since. And the closest we got was actually Dan got me in a swimming pool for the first time in about 15 years a couple of years back when we went to, I think it was Crete on holiday. And he actually got me into the swimming pool. I wouldn't go in very high and he had to hold my hands the entire time and I would not let him let go of me. Um, and I was like nearly crying, but I got in the swimming pool and that was a massive, huge step forward for me. So go me. But the point is, um, I kind of expected I wouldn't like Aquaman all that much because of you know, the whole water thing and 
but actually I really love it and I love like Atlantis and I love all the settings. It makes for some really cool, really interesting artwork at times and I just think it's brilliant. Normally I do my eyes first and then my skin, but because I want to kind of get it out the way for this one, I'm doing it the other way around. Also my, my natural brows are really, really scruffy and in need of plucking at the minute, so please be kind because they are a mess. One comment that I got last time that I didn't expect um, was a lot of people saying how different I look without makeup, which was a really weird thing to me because I know I do kind of like bold, crazy eye looks in a lot of videos, but I didn't think the rest of it changed my face that much. Um, I think it's just because I'm so used to seeing myself without makeup, like, you know, four out of seven days a week that I'm, I'm used to it and I don't really see the difference. But I think the biggest thing, the biggest difference is the eyebrows for me because they really do fr like frame my face and change how my face looks. And I always feel like, if I'm having kind of like an off day and I'm feeling a little bit crappy about myself, sometimes I'll just like do my eyebrows and it'll be like a little bit of a nice sort of confidence boost and I don't know, it's just a little thing I like to do for myself. And um, the other thing is that like my eyebrows naturally are just like not there. I have to tint the hairs with like a little eyebrow tint um, and obviously fill them in dark brown because my natural hair is really really light as you can see from kind of kind of a few little root bits coming through. So yeah, my, my eyebrows just don't look like they're there normally, whereas I like really bold, dark brows. So anyway, now we're moving on to the fun stuff. I'm really excited for this. So what I'm planning on doing with the eyes here is greenish, almost teal maybe kind of colour with like lots of gold elements and some like sparkly bits and stuff like that. So if we look at the picture that is my inspiration, so I really like the gold of the kind of like plates on his armour and the green of his gloves and his legs and things like that and I'm going to try and replicate that. We're going to try and do this like green and gold look for now and then see where it goes. Also I've got a fun little like pack of gems for the end, I'm going to do a kind of like forehead kind of thing, almost like a crown. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the main eyeshadow kind of palette I'm going to be using for this is I Heart Revolution's Mermaid Hearts palette. You saw me use this very briefly in the Starfire video and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's all vegan and cruelty free and um, it's lots of nice metallic shades like golds and greens and blues and bronzes and stuff like that so it's going to be perfect for this. Problem is it doesn't have a matte green and I really want a matte shade to start out with so I'm going to <laughs> very very quickly to start use my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I'm going to be using this kind of greeny tealy shade right here This one. But before I do that because you know I don't know how to plan a video apparently I'm going to be applying some of this all over my eyelids and kind of right up to my brows as well This is the NYX white eyeshadow base. I'm using white because the colors of eyeshadow I'm using here are quite pale and the white base is really going to make them pop and stand out and make them really nice and saturated. I'm using a sort of flat brush, like a nice clean one, and I'm just going to take some of this base and just pat it all over my eye and kind of blend it in. I'm going to blend out the edges with a damp makeup sponge. I'm just gonna leave this to dry for a second and it's gonna give us a really nice, solid, smooth base to like blend all those eyeshadows together on. Um, it's gonna really make them pop and it's gonna look great. So I'm gonna take a Spectrum brush. I love Spectrum brushes. I kind of gushed about them in the last video as well. They're a fantastic brand, really affordable. Most of their brushes are vegan, which is fantastic. Um, and they're just really good quality and they're fantastic for blending, they're fantastic for packing on colour, I just, I really rate them. Anyway, so I'm going to take a Spectrum BO7 brush, which is kind of like a blending brush, um, but I want to kind of get a buff of green all around here, like just above my crease. So I'm going to take my NYX Brights palette and take this shade of green here and start applying it all around kind of this area. As I said in my last video, when I'm doing my eye, well actually when I'm doing anything with makeup, I just take really small amounts of product at first and build them up slowly. You can always add more, but it's really difficult to take away. I'm just spending a lot of time working these colours in and trying to blend them out to make sure there are no harsh edges. For me one of the signs of kind of like poorly done makeup is when it's not blended and you have kind of like a line of like eyeshadow or a line here and you can like see where the product's like just been placed on and left and stuff like that. So I try really hard to um, blend everything out and 
you don't exactly make it look natural because you know green eyes but I don't know and sometimes it fails you know I'm no expert at this kind of thing I'm just a girl who has fun but yeah even though Aquaman wears kind of a lot of sort of armor with these gold trims and kind of big solid lines and stuff what I want to try and do with this eye look is almost make it like watery and like flowing and all the colors are blended together and stuff like that and um, and then I'm gonna have kind of pops of gold in there as well um so I, I want the colors to blend almost like watercolor if that makes sense but not watercolor not good with words am I I've got kind of like a nice base one so now I'm just trying to like build up the color just above my crease kind of saturate it a little bit more. Another thing I really like about Aquaman that I think is completely underrated are his villains. Like Black Manta is fantastic, the whole rivalry he has with his brother is fantastic, like there's some really really cool stuff. One thing I would love to see though, I don't know if it's been done um, and if it has I've not read it, um, I'd love to see like a kind of proper team up between Wonder Woman and Aquaman, I think that would be amazing. Because they're both kind of like quite sort of, not, not exactly like proper but they're like they're very like grounded in their very set morals and they want to protect their people and stuff like that and I don't know I just I think it would be very interesting to see I know if that's been done let me know what issues it's been done in and I want to read it like not just Justice League stuff where it's like everyone together um but just just Wonder Woman and Aquaman I'd be very interested by that there you go I'm pretty happy with that um, and how that's turned out. So now I'm going to move on to the Mermaid's Heart palette. And I'm going to start applying some of this shade of bluey green here, this metallic one, into the corner of my crease here. Not the crease, into the corner of my lid here. I want a flat-ish but soft brush to do this. So I just want to pack on the colour for now and then I can kind of start to blend it all together later. Now I'm going to take a similar kind of brush. Part of me wants to use the shiny pinky colour one because I think it would blend really well. Part of me thinks this gold is way more Aquaman. So I think I'm going to go with the gold because of his armour. I'm going to take some of this and apply it all over the rest of um, the lid that hasn't been kind of filled in yet. And then start to blend it into that metallic green. <laughs> And now I'm going to take a tiny but fluffy little brush and I'm going to take some of the... What should we do underneath? Is it crazy if I do blue under the eye to be like water? Because I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take some of this blue. This one's slightly more matte than a lot of the shades in the palette, which I like and which is what I want. Because I don't want to put a kind of metallic -y glittery shade under the under the eye because you know I'm getting old and I have like a lot of creases in my under eye and if they settle in there it's just gonna make me look like 10 years older and it, mm, which that could probably be good for me um since everyone thinks I'm 16 I'm not so I'm gonna go with a matte shade under the eye that's that's the point I'm trying to make here <laughs> badly and I'm just gonna pop some of this like under the eye and start to blend it up into the green but also down a little bit as well. And again, blend out these edges of the colour really, really well because you don't want it to look like just a straight line under your eye because that's going to look kind of silly. Not a nice soft edge. This is looking way better in real life than on camera. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Give me a second. There we go. Now you're all up in my face and can see all my flaws. I think another problem as well is that I've got a window here that's kind of like washing out this side a little. Whereas this side kind of looks okay. I am, I am pretty happy with this look. I'm just not entirely happy with how it's looking on camera. Look, sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? I do always find when you're doing makeup for the camera, you, you do need to kind of apply more than you would in real life, which is a bit of an issue for me. I don't like overdoing it. I'm actually going to go back with a little of this matte green here and just kind of saturate this a little bit more. Um, kind of my, what is that? It's not my brow bone. It's a bit above the crease on my eye though. I 
Basically all I'm doing now is the same stuff I was doing before but applying more on top to saturate the colours a bit more and make it pop. So for me it's just about building up layers very very slowly until you get the kind of finished result that you want. Okay, now I've done that I'm going to take uh, this little Fright Club palette from, uh, it's a Primark one actually, and it's got these gorgeous little like uh, creamy glittery eyeshadow shades. And as you can see, I've used the black one quite a bit already. I'm going to take this one here. It's like, so the base is clear, but the glitter in it is sort of like a pinky holographic -y colour. You really can't see on camera, but it's really cute. And what I'm going to do is take a flat brush that I can pack on colour with, and I'm going to take a little bit of this and apply it in the corners of my eyes to start with. This is hopefully going to be a really like subtle little hint of glitter. And then start to bring it up into the gold just a little bit as well. Not a huge amount, but a tiny amount. To tidy up a little bit, I'm going to go under the eye with a little bit of concealer. And I'm going to take a little of this Rimmel uh, Gold Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 liner. Again, I'm sorry I'm using Rimmel, but um, I haven't been able to afford to buy an alternative yet. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of this all along the lash line of my upper lid, even into the green. I'm going to bring it up into a little flick at the end and do the same on the other eye as well. I'm going to be honest, when it comes to Aquaman, I've not seen uh, the new Justice League film. I think it's just because I don't want to be disappointed, because I know the DC films are currently terrible and I don't, I don't know what they're doing with it. It's such a shame. DC, seriously, like, they have the best characters, they have the best villains, the best. Why can't they get the films right? What is so hard? Man of Steel was terrible. Wonder Woman was fantastic, I'll give you that. Um, but Man of Steel was terrible. Um, Suicide Squad, uh, Batman vs Superman, I've not seen it but I've not heard good things so I kind of don't want to see it. Why can't it be more like the TV series? Like The Flash TV series is fantastic, I love that so much, and Arrow as well. I've not seen Supergirl yet but I want to, I'm trying to kind of catch up with them. Um, and now for a coat of mascara, if I can find it. Um, I was gonna use like false eyelashes and stuff, but I'm just, I'm terrible with false eyelashes. I'm really, really bad. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Paris uh, little mascara that I've got. It's like a double extension extra black one. Basically it's got two ones. One side is like a white primer and then the other is like the black color. I have really short, stumpy boy lashes. Uh, there's literally nothing there, no curl to them barely any volume or length, so I need all the help I can get with mascara, really. <laughs> I've seen there are some women who get like eyelash extensions and stuff when they have, you know, problem lashes like me. <laughs> but I don't know if I could deal with like someone else fussing around my eyes like that. I think it would kind of freak me out a little bit. It took me long enough for, you know, me to be able to touch my eyes. Never mind anyone else. So this is just a little primer on the mascara uh, that kind of lengthens the lashes a bit. I'm just coating top and bottom lashes. And now I'm going to go in with a coat of the black. There we go, now my lashes look similar to a normal person not wearing mascara. Back to the DC films, and I do think their choice of actor for Aquaman is pretty fantastic. I think he will make a great Aquaman. And he is kind of like the embodiment of like the masculine protective side of Aquaman and how he wants to kind of stand up for his people and he's this like big strong protector. Now before I do the cheeks and lips and stuff, I'm going to add a special little touch, um, kind of like a crown of gems on my brow uh, using these Fright Club gems, again from Primark. Uh, this is the Ice Queen Face Gems set. I'm not going to be using these ones, but I am going to be using the crown today. Never applied anything like this before, so it may end up wonky, I may end up looking stupid. This was the closest I could get to anything kind of sea related. Ideally I'd want something kind of gold or green for Aquaman. Um, but I figured blue would be just as good to kind of represent the water. It's kind of meant to be a little interpretation of his little crown that he has, his little gold crown. Let's see how it turns out. If I look stupid, I can always take it off, right? That's, that's the thing. It's a great thing about makeup. You can experiment and have fun, and if you don't like it, just take it off. No permanent damage done. Okay, oh gosh, these are quite weighty, these little gems. Look at these. Oh, this reminds me of, anyone ever have those jelly sweets as a kid? loud isn't it? I never have those jelly sweets as a kid and they came in like dinosaur shapes and stuff like that and you used to have to peel the jelly off a piece of plastic like this um, and the challenge was always to get it off whole and like not kill the animal in the process and then you'd eat it so. I'm gonna set up my mirror so I can do this right. 
Ooh, oh, let me smush that down. You know what? I don't think that's a bad job. Oh, I shouldn't move my eyebrows now. I feel like one with Botox where like, I can't move my eyebrows on my face. This little tail bit's kind of struggling to stick down a bit, but it's not too bad. I think it's cute and it's pretty and like, you know, two pan gems, what do you expect? Yeah, it's not too noticeably wonky. I'm okay with this. For the cheeks, I'm gonna go back in with this little revolution highlighter. This is from the little uh, Halloween set and I love it. It comes in like this little skull decanter and it's so cute, I love it. And um, basically I'm gonna pipette a little bit onto my cheeks and then buff it in with a brush. I'm gonna go quite over the top with this because it is a kind of costumey look. I do like this little highlighter because it's kind of like a white one but it does have a yellowish undertone. I'm not sure how much that shows up on camera but it's, it's almost like goldy in its undertone which is cute. Now so I don't look quite so washed out, I'm going with a little bit of blush on the apples of my cheeks. This is more just to stop me looking ill than anything. And now for the lips. In kind of the Aquaman scaly armour style, I want to go with a gold lip. Gold glittery lip. This might look silly, but I think it's going to be so, so fun. Uh, this is the I Heart Revolution, what are we? Um, metallic Dragon Lips in the shade Legend. I've been wanting to wear this for so long. It's so pretty. It's this gold metallic gorgeous colour. I love it. I love it. I love it. To say it is a glittery metallic colour, it goes on so smoothly. It feels like you've got nothing on your lips. Oh, I don't know how this is showing up on camera. I just spat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how this is showing up on camera, but it's so pigmented and beautiful. Oh, look at this. Also, my mirror's not closed, and I'm smudging this everywhere. You know what? With that, I think my Aquaman inspired look is pretty much done. The nails, the eyes, the little crown. I like this one. I think it's very pretty. I feel kind of like a princess, but I'm not used to having this much stuff on my face, and it's really weird for me. <laughs> Uh, I do like this though. I was thinking of doing something like with the gold eyeliner to do kind of like a tridenty type thing um, But I don't trust my skills and I think I just probably ruined this whole thing So I just zoomed out a little bit so you can kind of see the whole thing a little bit better If I take my hair down, it may look ridiculous, but let's try it Oh look at that, it's not too bad. Oh look at these poor roots though. They need a wash. Like, I'll settle with that, that'll be fine, right? <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is my Aquaman look kind of finished and done. Aquaman is probably one of my favourite heroes. He is mm, arguably my favourite member of the Justice League. I don't know. I, oh, no, I love the Flash and I love Batman as well. I, oh, no, I love Wonder Woman. I can't decide, okay? Just don't, don't judge me. I love everyone. This one, I think, if you take away the gold lips and the gems, is probably a very, very wearable look. But with the gems and the gold lips, it just kind of makes it a little bit more fun and silly. I know, I kind of love this look and I really enjoyed making it, applying it, applying it, that's the word. I did really enjoy this and I do think Aquaman is a thoroughly underrated character. If you've never read any Aquaman comics, I thoroughly recommend them. They're brilliant, some of them, most of them, a lot of them. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done for now. Let me know what you thought of this look. If you haven't seen the Starfire one, hop on over to that video, have a watch of that as well, because it's quite fun. You can see more photos of this on my Instagram page, at Rachel Oates, if you want to follow me. Yeah, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what are the other three characters you think I'm going to do. I'll give you some hints colour-wise. One of them's a little bit blue, one of them's a little bit black, and the other one is... Red, red and blue. I'll give you that. I don't know if that gives anything away at all, but it, it might help. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for watching today, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for everyone who's supporting my channel this month, especially everyone supporting me on Patreon, including Gambit and his chauffeur, Deshaun, Mark Darner, Christian Berg, Rachel B. Royer, Jaden Shepard, Jaylee Moore, Religions BS, Sir Michael Moore, Christian Opitz, Sage Villarreal, Greg Ladd, and Spencer Young. You're all seriously amazing, and I can't thank you enough. Also, check out everyone else mentioned on the end screen here and down in the description below. And if you've got a little bit of spare time and you want to check out my merch store, then uh, you know you can you can do that if you want. No pressure.